Special thanks to Rust Chance for sponsoring today's video. Go to rustchance.com and use code SVEN to get a 50 cent starting bonus. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Feel I'm in the mood for a changer. I leave the city and return with my changer. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Straight to the stage, they love me. Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Sven and today another base build video. Now this time I'm showing you guys how to build the 2x2 Chad V1. This base is focused around a 2x2 concept and the strongest against online raid defenses. It is not a cheap base but it's also not that expensive and it should easily be doable if you have a group about 4 to 5 people. It can also fit 6 people but that's kind of the border. Now let's not wait too long and let's jump straight into a tour of the base. Enjoy. So let's talk about the base in general. Now from the outside this base does not look like a 2x2. It basically looks like the soccer stacked 3x3 of my previous build. Um, but then a little bit smaller and that's also basically what this is. Although this base is not socket stacked. You can literally build this base from a 2x2. Classic compound the same way as we have it on the 3x3 that's socket stacked. Uh, four ways out. So uh, you enter again two ways in. One on each side. One on this side. One on the other side. And if you enter the base you can see we are immediately in the first layer of the peak downs. And if you go to the left here you can see we're immediately in the second layer of the peak downs. Now you can see here. This is the original 2x2. Two two. One thing that you should notice is that this 2x2 two two is not airlocked. If you airlock your 2x2, two two, you cannot build this base unless you uh, are willing to pick the airlock out or blow it up. This 2x2 two two has nothing and that's the whole idea of this base. Raiders door raid you offline most likely uh, or you're gonna get raided on the bottom. And this whole 2x2 two two can be completely blown. Uh, it's not keeping up anything of the center of the base and basically to fool the raiders. As you can see here, there's a little peak angle and uh, we'll show that angle in a second. Go here, we have the outer layer of the peak downs. Um, and as you can see also here, there is a little bedroom. You can see there's two ways up. You can have four as well if you want to, but two is nice. Here we go up and here's where the magic happens. Now we're entering the main loot room floor. If we open this door right here and see... This is the main loot. Now we just came from there. If you go to the right here, we have the way up. And the same goes on the other side. We have the main two bedrooms right here as well in I side. Frame here is for a reason. It's to hold up this roof right here. Now up here in the build, you'll see you can also place a turret with a triangle. But I like to have more loot space. Uh, but it's important that two of them are closed off as the other two have a door. You can see there's one door there. There's one door there. Now the TC is not behind this door. You can see we have a little peak here and this peak is mostly for taking over the shooting floor if people are on there. It's quite an unexpected angle for people. Now if we go through the door, you can see we drop down and we are immediately in the peak area that I was talking about earlier. Now from here, if, if you're getting rated, if your 2x2 is actually getting rated from the bottom, this is a very very good spot to hold. So go to the right side here, we go up to the shooting floor. We have two layers. The inside is completely honeycombed. The outside has two layers. We have the outer layer with the outer peak downs, shooting floor, etc. And it's separated with a garage door here. As you can see, you have an entire pathway that you can walk around. And that's basically it. Now you can see this door right here is to watch over your top roof. You can also have little drop chests here if you want to. And if we go to this ladder hatch, you can see we are now on the top roof. Perfect for landing helis. And the reason I have this many roofs on this base is... Purely to give multiple angles to shoot from in case you're, you are getting raided. In, in case of this base you don't want to get raided from the top. So that's why we have these outer turret top pots. So it's hard for raiders to raid you from the top. Ultimately it's a base that's the strongest against raiding from the side. And that's basically the base. That's the tour. Alright so with the base being like pretty much fully stone. I just want to show you guys before I make it fully metal. How much the upkeep is. Now. Of course, a stone base is a lot more stone in terms of amounts than if you have it in metal. So in this case, the upkeep would be... Let me just try and find the DC because I kind of forgot already where it is. There we go. 12k metal, 45k stone, 81 high qual. Now, of course, this is with all the deployables placed as well. 
Now I will show you guys how to make it cheaper in metal. So with everything placed, all the doors, all the deployables and the whole thing upgraded to metal, this base is 43k metal. Now of course that is with the top area here. If you were to demol oh. if you were to demolish that without the rocket of course. Let me just go ahead and do that. So have a, let's have a look now if you're not building that tower stuff on the top we are down to 37k metal which is very reasonable for a 2x2 and a 6 man okay so that was it for the base tour and the upkeep now in terms of building costs the base costs about 90,000 metal fragments to build of course this is with everything upgraded to metal straight away good thing of this base is that you can pretty much upgrade everything to metal later on if you want and build the base fully out of stone first now without further ado let's jump into building the base Alright, so this 2x2 can be built from a 2x2 starter. We're not doing anything with socket stacking. We're not doing anything with multi-TC base. So, you just build your normal 2x2 starter. Although you want to have a way up. In this case, what I would recommend to do is like this. Floor like that. And then seal this off. Place the door right here. Place the door right here. Now just so we have a two, uh, TC down. I'm gonna place the DC right here. Now this base can be built a lot of ways. It doesn't really matter what you do, how you build it, in which order. Although I like to build the 2x2 two two up at least two more floors. Now the whole base is totally upgradable. So you don't need to make anything in metal. You can later on upgrade everything to metal whenever you have the resources for it. Now how you make the ways up here is purely up to yourself. Although um, I like to make a pathway that's doesn't have the jump ups above so not like this but it, it, it really depends what you want yourself and we want to make it three tall it's important you don't build anything up here you don't put a wall here it's, it's you cannot do that right so once that's done we're gonna build the shell around and we're gonna basically do the same trick with the three by three but in this case we do it like that one square like that and then we're gonna do triangle triangle square triangle triangle square triangle triangle square we do that all the way around now on top of that, we're gonna add triangles going inwards, like this. Now as this base isn't socket stacked, it's still very important to place these frames so that the inside 2x2 is already connected to the outside here. Later on when we build the roof over, it will already be connected with the roof, but just in case you might be slowed down building this, uh, just so this doesn't decay. Now what you wanna do now is decide where you want your ways out. Uh, I like to do this. And then have one, two, three, four, five, and then wall. I mean, uh, a frame. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. You build that all the way on the towards the top. Right. Once you got that, you will notice that yeah, this is not a socket stack base. So these triangles are the exact same height, and therefore we cannot really like finish up the roof without building the outer layer here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So once again, you want to decide where you want your front door. I want to have them here and here. And then we build walls all the way around and we do that um, three tall in this case. Now once you have the whole thing three tall, what I like to focus on now is build the external TCs. Just so you don't get griefed because by, when the time uh, your base is this size, you're most likely going to get griefed as well. So one thing I like to do is put a square at the front door, another square and then remove the first square, put a triangle. Build one, two, three, four, five squares out, triangle out and then a triangle here with a TC and then... A window like that like that now we do this uh, at all four sides so you do square square remove the first square triangle we have one square two square three square four square five square triangle and then the TC on the last triangle like that we do that on the other two sides as well alright now if you want your compounds to be over secured we can also do the corner TC so let's go ahead and do that as well you do basically like Try to get as close to the corner as you can. You align yourself and you place a triangle like that. Then we do one, two, three, four, five, and a triangle again. And we do that on all four sides again. All right, once you got that done, uh, you can actually go ahead and build the compound. If you are in need to use large furnaces, I would recommend to do that. Let's just go out from the fact you actually want that. We're gonna do the classic gatehouses again that I also used on my previous base build. You do those gatehouses on all four sides and then on this side you do the um, wall like that and then triangles like that. So another gatehouse here. 
At this point, to secure the compound fully, you're gonna need metal barricade BP. And also stone wall BP, of course. You can also do it with wooden walls, by the way. Alright, so once you got that done, it's important to have the metal barricades and stone walls ready. Now, I like to do the metal bar bar barricades on top of here first. So, let's just place one like this be able to do like that and you do that on all four of those and on these you put one in the middle and you it doesn't really matter it's best to place it as far away from your base as possible like that now you do that all the on all four sides so once you have the barricades placed we want to focus on building the high walls now uh, in this case you always want to attach them to this place right here this corner with the uh, uh, triangles on top not the gatehouse you always want to place this wall right here first just so you guys can see what's the perfect way. Align it. If you align it, it goes in. But it's actually fine, but it's kind of risky. So you want to like align this one with that wall. And if you want to be safe, move this wall a little bit more outwards. So towards that side, basically. So we're going to do the same on the other side. So you guys can see. Since I can delete them, I'm just going to be... Doing it like that and like that. And as you can see, it perfectly fits. All right, and that is it for the compound. Now, in this case, you can actually start putting your large furnaces on and starting to cook. Now, there is going to be a second layer of compound around this. I would recommend to do uh, wooden walls for those. But for now, you have a kind of safe place to cook your metal to use for the build. Now, remember, you can upgrade this base fully without using any metal at the first stage and that's why we're building the base in stone first so to build the inner peak downs i like to be safe so let's build a wall around after that you want to decide your way up where do you want your way up now i would recommend to have two ways up but if you want to have four ways up you can do that too now in each corner we're gonna do a floor like that half wall floor on top remove the bottom and then put two low walls you want to have that in each corner and once you have that in each corner, we're going to put the peak downs on. So you want to have this, attach this to the middle, and the same all around. Like that. That's your basically your peak downs. Now, where do you want your way up? Put two frames. And now we want to build the outer ring, kind of. Now, you can put windows here, but I, will, I like to do walls. And we want to have two doors like that. So... Wall, wall, half wall, 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 door, wall, wall, sorry, half wall, 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 there we go, two doors, two half walls on each corner, and then we can actually completely close this off, at least for the outer ring, alright, once you did the outer ring, you want to place a window like this, and then we want to put we want to close the whole roof off but we want to have a triangle here but we don't want to place that one we, we want to have it open so square square it's easiest to do and then triangle square triangle triangle square triangle and then triangles in the middle so you'll see that the two by two actually it turns into a kind of shell again once again a shell and we have a circle kind of base instead of a two by two two by two under so we built two half walls like that and we put a floor on that, on top of that. Now to fully secure your base, I would recommend to put ladder hatches in those two so you can get up and it's closed off. For the inner peak downs, um, purely up to yourself what you like. Um, although I would recommend to do it like this. We cannot place any walls because of the top here. It, it's fine. We'll, we will get to that in a second. So for now, I would spend your building materials on building the main loot room floor, aka this floor right here, which is the fourth, no, the fifth floor of the base. Um, and later on, spend more materials inside here. It's fine if it's open like this. Totally fine. So once again, we build a wall all around. And once you have the wall all around, you want to kind of think about where do you want your TC? Now, I say where do you want your TC? Because originally, your TC should be up here. Now... It's kind of impractical to do that because we already have all these placed. So in order for us to move the main TC off the main base up, we have to obviously destroy the TC that's all the way down here. And then we have to destroy all of these, which are eight in total, place the TC on this floor, 
then place all of these TCs back. It's quite a hassle to do so, but I would recommend you to do it. Is there another way of doing it? Yes, it's without building these external TCs and your compound and build this whole part of the base first. Place your main TC here and then build all the external TCs. It, it just depends on whether or not you're gonna get griefed or if you have neighbors that you're pissing around with, you know, like, but generally that's the idea. So in our case, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that, but uh, you don't really have to. If raiders do destroy this TC, we're fine. We're fine because this TC will be destroyed. They won't be able to place a new one because of all the external TC. Now with that said, there's one last upgrade we have to do. And that is build frames. And I would do five all up. And you don't have to do the ones on the corner. Now there's one more thing you should know about placing these frames. It's actually very important. This you cannot connect. Cannot. It will either destroy that TC or your main TC. So the strength of this base comes on this floor. This is the main loot room floor. And this is also where we're going to place the TC. Now there is a potential that raiders do end up splashing this and we'll fix that by placing some stuff here later on the build although to make the base ultra secure what i like to do is to place half walls like that and also here now obviously these you want to make metal because you won't be able to reach them after anymore and then place floors on top of that now these you want to make metal as well as these will be the floors of your main loot room the same goes here and if you're still afraid of that place make that armor but we'll fix that in a second anyway as we'll place walls like this so that it's not gonna be able to be splashed so with that said one thing that you want to do is you want to have your next ways up indicated with hatches like this so that we know okay that's where the way up is going to be and we want to indicate them with a door and i want to put the door on the left the same goes for the way down door door so for the way down you want to wall that off. Same for the way up. And one last thing that you want to do here is place a frame like that. We're going to end up putting a garage door like that. There we go. So you're going to have like something like this. Okay. So now it's important to think about where do you want your TC. Now the TC placement of this base can be actually in four different locations. If you follow my build. Uh, what I would do is think about the outside of your base. What is the area that you're gonna be gonna get raided from the least chance? So if you build, for example, right here, you wanna put your TC somewhere on the south side. Now I would put it on the southeast side here, although a raid base could potentially be built there. So what you can do is put it, build your base like this, facing with the uh, southeast corner on this side and put the TC on that corner. Of course, raiders might also think about you doing that. So keep that in mind, but it's very important to realize where do we want the TC. So let's just say we're going to go out from the fact that right there is the sea and your base is kind of built like that. So that's the least chance you're going to get raided from, basically. What I would recommend to do is place the TC right here or right here. Now we can't place it because we have the main TC. So let's go fix that quick. All right. So once again, C is going to be there. So we are going to want to put our main TC right here. There we go. Do not make it obvious where your TC is. You don't want to make this floor armored. Don't do it. Although what I would recommend to do at this point is to make this whole floor, all these floors metal. But once again, you can decide yourself where you want your TC. If you feel like this is not a good spot because people will watch this video and they will probably decide to jackhammer this or this. Once again, you can place it anywhere. So there's basically a one, two, three, plus three is six plus ten there's a one out of 16 chance that they jackhammer into the tc straight away um, but yeah it's, it's up to yourself obviously so we put a door there and we put a floor on there and since this is the way up we can also close that off as well now just to make make it as hard for the raiders as possible we're gonna build the exact same room on the other side although on this side there won't be a tc in there Right, now we're gonna lay out our main four loot rooms so one like that one like that one like that and one like that and now for these two sides you want to put a door like that and a door like that and you want to put a door frame here and a door frame here then you want to place half walls like that like that now to make each of these four loot rooms as sufficient as possible 
You're gonna wanna do the trick with the um, boxes. And you wanna clip yourself as far left as you can to the wall like I'm doing right now. And you wanna clip the box like that. And the last one you wanna kind of place freehand. You can do it like that. There you go, you have four boxes. Now you go back here and you place a half wall with a triangle for now, temporarily. Then you place a triangle on top. We remove this again. Then you also want to put another triangle like that or like that. Depends what you want. Um, to make it easier, what you can do here, just an example. Let's just put two frames like that. Excuse me for that. Let's actually put the frame first. Because... They need to be there, obviously. So let's just go ahead and do that like that. And then we place the boxes. So they go a little bit through the wall. But that is perfectly fine. And make sure you also place the doors um, like that. Because you won't be able to place them when the box is there. Now, if you like, what I like to do is have instead of a wall or a frame there, a wall. And then we can do the same here. So we fill the rest up with frames like that so we basically have two loot rooms that are closed off and two loot rooms that are like that so you don't have to if you want to maximize your space you do a four square uh, or a four boxes loot room like that triangle two boxes on, on top and then a floor or another triangle as well now for the tier three of of course we're gonna need to have a tier three in the base um what you can do is put another loot room like that with a triangle and then the tier three like that of course you can also fill this whole loot room stuff up but i like to have it like this so we close them all off and the same goes for the actual core we close that off as well like that now uh, it's important to secure our base so let's just close that one off as well and that one off as well and let's just close off everything else that we can um so that the base is uh, secured so one thing that we're gonna need to have for sure is the frame like that and also on the other side and also on this side. So in order to have that clipped, we do like that, remove that, place the door frame there. Same goes here, door frame there. Now, uh, originally you could fit six people in this space. Uh, you're gonna see here from the loot room, we have two doors. We have one right here. We have the peak here. What I would do is not have a bed there, but a bed like this. Let me just show you how to do that. Like that. So that's one bed. Have a locker there and then... I don't know if this is possible. Let's just try it. I don't think it is. No, it's not. And then have some boxes there. That That is basically uh, the bedroom that you want for the person that's online the most. So we close that off. And we did the same on the other side. Now, this bedroom has the TC. So a little bit less space for loot, but a very, very important room. So that's the two rooms. Now this gap right here will come in handy later on. Now we want to have the other bedrooms and originally we're going to have six people. So we're going to put a bed like this and like that. like this and like that now these two triangles right here you can put a locker so or a vending machine so enough space and then we close that off too now as we have the way up just to make sure that just to show you guys how to fully close off the base so let it hatch there let it hatch there that's the way up so the only thing left now is to secure this area right here now I really, really think that it's important to secure your main loot. So what we're going to do is have a triangle like that, triangle like that, and then half walls. Close that off. Now, why the triangle? There's going to be a turret on there. And it's going to be a turret that if you're getting raided and the raiders are coming either down or up from this side. Let's put the ladder hatch there too. They're going to have to face that turret. Now... They could probably shoot it out, but if they go here and they splash here, the turret will open up here. So it's not only to prevent from raiders raiding like this. It's also when they're already here and they splash a loot room, this turret goes up. So I like to have it like that. It's pretty open and I like the triangle as well because it gives you space. Now, if you want more loot space, you can remove the triangle and instead put floor like that. This allows you to put like four more boxes on each side. Um, which is also uh, 
pretty nice. I like that too. So you can do like this. There we go. And do the same on the other side, of course. So there we go. A lot, a lot of space right here. Now, if you're building this in an actual wipe, obviously what you want to do is place a door like here. Because otherwise it's kind of open in here. There we go. So that's basically the whole main loot room and the base. All right. So now we're going to build the shooting floor. So in each corner, you want to put two triangles with a square on each side. So corner, two triangles with a square on each side. Now on these sides, you want to have a roof. And now stability is uh, being a pain in the ass, but that's fixable. What you want to do is place a half wall here and you can put a wall there. And maybe even there just to make it look better, but you can still fit a vending machine or a locker there. So that's perfectly fine. Do the same like that. And now this roof should have enough stability. There you go. Right. So next is once again, we secure our corners with windows. Uh, once you have that done, you want to put frames here. And a window there. I'm going to put frames here as well. And then windows all around. Put windows all the way around. If you want to have the window up there, you can do that too. I'm pretty sure that this is not connecting, so no worries. Uh, and then, of course, the single door here. Now I placed it wrong. I want to have it like that. So just to give you guys an idea, from top down, we have the ways up there and there. And from top down, it looks like this. All right, so now to secure this space fully from top down rates. We want to do this. Make sure that this is metal because we cannot reach it. Floors on top. And the same all the way around. Make sure that these are all metal. And once again, uh, you can reach all of these later on. So it's only important to make the hall falls here metal. A very important upgrade you want to do is this one. There we go. Now you want to place everything except this. This hall fall right there. So just to make things easy to understand. Like that. That's how you want to have it. So the half wall to the right of the door thingy should be gone. And what you want to do there is place a door. Now you want to fill that up like that. And of course, I just forgot, I just saw, but this one and this one should be metal before you do that. Uh, you can still reach it though. So that's fine. Now, uh, we want to secure this. And then, of course, put half walls like that. Like that. Now, what you want to do is you want to think about where do you want your way up. Now, I want them here and here so we put frames we just seal off the whole uh, shooting floor like that so that's the top of the shooting floor now i like to have turret pots so let's just create those and just to fully uh, secure the base what you can do here is put a triangle as well but triangle roof sorry but what will happen is this will be open so raiders people on your roof could probably jump through this somehow but it just looks better in my opinion so it's up to you and of course for those of you that want to make the bit look but want to make the base look ultra sick. Put these. Trust me on that. It looks epic. For the corners you can do that. 
Now your roof is a fucking fortress. Although the root parts are secured by the turrets. As you can see, you c no one can sit here. People can not go through this, although they can jump over like that. Um, they can actually do, they can sit here and watch the hatch. So ultimately what you can also do, if you really want to, is remove that and put like turret pots. I messed up the roof there somehow. Let's just see what I messed up here. Let's see. Then place a roof like that. You can probably st even put these. There we go. So that's the roof for you. You can make it as complicated as you want yourself. But. So what's nice about the roof like this is that you can secure it by standing here and can have the kits down here as well for the loot, like a kind of like a loot room. And you can take over your roof back and you can land helis on here and you can have turrets and you have the roofs. Ultimately for windmills, it's kind of a struggle. Although the most efficient way to do it is to do like this. Place a windmill on top of here. That's okay. It's going to be a little bit hard, but if you do like that, you should be able to do that. And then you can place one. You can even do like that. Place one like that. You can easily do that. All right. That was it for this one already. Now, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that this base might come in handy for you and your teammates. Now, if it actually does or you have some general feedback, Make sure to let me know in the comments. I'm super curious to know. Please leave a like on the video if you thought it was useful. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more content like this and gameplay videos. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video and take care.